Hello, my name's Tony and welcome back to Predicted. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about my top five winter fragrances from Perfume Parlor, but this is going to be with a twist. We're going to be doing this with my wife and she's going to be rating them in order of what she likes the most. Bex, where are you? Oh, I'm just coming in. What the do you look like? Wow. What do you look like? Well, what are you wearing? You invited me on your channel, and this is the first time I'm on your channel. Right. So, I don't watch fragrance videos, so I did a bit of research, babe. Right, okay. And this person come up, I think it's trainee or something. A trainee? Yeah, 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 it's on YouTube, and he had like loads more subscribers than you, so I thought I would um, I'd take some inspiration from him. Right, do you, when you say trainee, do you mean apprentice? Yeah, something like that. And he was dressed in like, like a cravat and a waistcoat and I thought, wow, people must love him. People might dig that. He gets more views than you. They're basically saying I'm shit and he's dressed more like him. Okay. Right. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, mm. What have you got in your hand? Well, I thought I'd come prepared. Right. I like he did as well. <sighs> so I got, my, I got my lunchbox and I went out in the wilderness. Right. Because I'm one with wilderness. Okay. And he sprays stuff on like nature and sniffs them. So in this box, I've, I've got some stuff from nature and I thought we could like spray them on them right. and I could sniff them like, like he did. Okay. Do you want to see what's in the box? <laughs> Pardon me. I'm not sure I feel comfortable with you dressed like that. So why? Can we just do this normal, please? I mean, it is a bit itchy. Okay, so should we just get should we just get back to normal? Okay. Okay. Right. Ready. Right. Normal service resumed. Okay. Yeah, fine. <laughs> fine. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to spray. Okay. My top five favorite perfume parlors mm -hmm. and what I'm gonna do is get you to rate them out of 10. Okay, I'm good at this. So then that will order them in your favour. Yeah. We can do this? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well thanks for being on my channel. That's okay. This is the first time you've actually done a review with me. I know and I've done my research as well. Look at me. I know, I'm really impressed. Even though you don't like it, that's fine. Uh, no. Mm. Didn't suit you babe. Oh okay. Let's move on to the first one. The first one we're gonna do is called Building. And that is numbered 1945. So you can find these on the Perfume Parlor website. If you search by the number, you'll come across them much quicker on the website. The building is their interpretation of a niche fragrance, and it is by Tiziana Terenzi, and it is called Kirk. I've pre labelled okay. and wrote the names on these, this but I'm still a little bit. No, it's not that professional, is it? Because I've got bits of paper. I really need to sort out some spray cards. I've got you covered. What? Okay. In my little lunchbox. I wonder what that is about. Yeah, so this trainee guy went out in the wilderness and got some stuff to spray. Okay, so on. what are we going to spray it on? <clears throat> well, I have a selection. So, a leaf? Oh, he sprays it on leaves. <laughs> so that's like right. right. Okay. <laughs> do I spray it? You do know that that's not the type of leaf he sprayed it on. A leaf's a leaf. Oh, I think maybe the wind dried it off a little bit. Shall I? Shall I woof it? I'm yeah. woofing. Okay. I can't believe we're smelling this from an old dying leaf. Um, it smells like a leaf. <laughs> it smells like a rotting dying leaf. Yeah. No. Yeah, it smells like a leaf. Oh. With a little bit of perfumed leaf. <laughs> Give that a smell. Okay. So Tiziana Terenzi, just to tell you some of the notes, it has some pear in it. And I think I can smell the pear. I can smell the pear. It's got some raspberry, it's got some peach. I can smell pear and peach, yeah. And it's got some passion fruit. So it's very fruity. It is very fruity. Then it's got some patchouli and it's got some vanilla and it's got some sandalwood. Okay. 
It is very, very fruity. Yeah. I don't dislike it. Mm -hmm. But it's quite pungent. It's quite like heady for me. Yeah. I think there's, I think the fruits are sort of almost a little bit overripe. It just needs to like tone it down just a little bit. Yeah. And it would actually be quite nice. There's it's a lot just... going on, isn't it? It's not very subtle. No. No. It's very good. Yeah. It smells nice, doesn't it? It does smell very nice. I think it should, it's just a bit too strong. It reminds me of a little bit like Alien. So Alien, when you spray it, everybody knows you're wearing Alien. Yeah. I think I think it's one of those. That would overtake the whole room, wouldn't it? Yeah, it that. would overtake quite a few things, yeah. Yeah. And what would you rate that out of 10? Um, a six. A six, okay, so that's quite low. But Only know, because it is so strong. So if you think that that was like they toned it down just a bit, yeah, just, just make it a little right. more subtle. Okay, so building. So the uh, Tiziana Terenzi has been rated 6 out of 10. Let's move on. Moving on. Moving on. The next one is called Strong mm -hmm. Wither You. Oh, so Strong With You. By Armani. Very good. Number on this is 1758. So this is uh, in my top five winter perfumes from... Oh, Wonderful. Oh, it's a bigger one. It's not so brown. Well, actually, this is a little bit more accurate because this is lightly yeah. leaves. It's, it's still got a bit of wilderness on it, but yeah. let's spray it. <laughs> let's see. You're a tart. Mm. It's still leafy. <laughs> it's still tapping. It's not working. No, Do you think they just lied? I don't know. And it was outside as well. If we can't smell it on a leaf inside, I mean, there's nowhere. It smells leaves. It smells like a laurel leaf. Mm. Yeah. I'm not too impressed with this trainer guy now. Okay. <laughs> Mugged me off. <laughs> well, that's nice. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It's nice. So, so some of the things this has in it is mint. Yeah, some of them. Cardamom is one of the main notes. Mm, okay. Pineapple. Give it some sweetness. Yeah, I think it's quite fruity. Melon. 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 I love a melon. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's got some amber. Okay. Some chestnut. Chestnut. And some very... vanilla. So I... very wintry. Can I just say, why are you wearing a hat and stuff inside? It's my winter video. Oh. I want you to like look like I was dressed for winter. Oh, okay. No. Okay. I'm a professional, babe. Mm. Some people, I think, would find that mm, it's too generic. But that's not really good. Just not really good. Yeah, but this is probably mm. I really love this from Perfume Parlor. It's really accurate. It doesn't smell like an oil slick. You can no, really pick out some of the notes on it, which I think is fantastic. This lasts like an absolute beast as well. It is nice. Cracking value for money. Mm -hmm. One of their better fragrances, I would say, that I have smelled. Yeah. What would you rate that out of 10? Eight. Eight. Really good. Strong rating. What's next? Next, we are going to be looking at Warrior, which is 1536. And this is Herod by Parfums de Mali. Oh. Oh, hang on. So... I kind of thought the leaves might let me down a little bit, so I brought back up. Okay. Okay. Brought twig. <laughs> what, you're a scarecrow? <laughs> it does remind me a little bit like a chicken's foot, but I thought... Right. <laughs> if the leaves let me down... Yeah. We could try something else from outside. Okay, so we're going to spray the twig. Spray the twig. Spray the wood. Spray the wood. Right, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I've, never, I've never done this before. I know. <laughs> what is going on? Right, spray let's just spray twig. some wood. Let's spray some twig. <laughs> right. Um, Let me spray <clears> the paper <throat> as well, just in case. How's how's the how's the twig working? It's not working. It's not. <laughs> I don't think the surface area is thick enough. Right. Okay. <laughs> it needs more. It needs more girth. Is what you're saying? Oh, you weren't happy with that. No, I've got okay. one more though. Okay. 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 Yeah. Hi she's hiding them from me as well, so I can't see what's going on. Um, what do you think of that? Yeah, it's quite nice. Yeah. Do you Let's just spray just a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit more. Okay. So this one's got in it some cinnamon, some pepper. 
Yeah, I was going to say, it smells more wintry. It's got some incense. Mm -hmm. It's got some tobacco leaf. It is quite spicy. It's got some cedar, some vanilla. So, yeah, it's got some nice wintry sort yeah. of cold <clears throat> weather notes in, I would say. Um, I quite like it. Yeah? Yeah. Now, I think I was right in saying that Herod, the original, you thought smelled a little bit camely. I don't get that from this at all. No. There's no harshness in there at all, is there? No, I was going to say, it's, it's a lot more subtle than what I remember the original to be. So think of the parfums the money I bought, which was Segni, mm -hmm. which was the fresh <clears throat> which obviously pleased you as well. Yeah. If Herod did smell like this, would you be happy for me to own that one? Yeah. It's, that is a lot softer. Yeah. The original, I think, was too... Animal, anima, animalic. 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 Yeah. Animalic. Too challenging. Too challenging for me. Whereas I think the, the they've kind of toned down that side of it and that makes yeah. it actually a really nice fragrance for winter. Yeah. And again, this one lasts really well. Uh, mm. It smells <clears throat> quite sweet. It's got a lovely wintry sweetness to it. It's actually really nice. I quite like that one. Okay. And what would you rate that one out of 10? Would Ooh. you rate that better or worse than Strongle? Stronger with a U. Stronger with a U. Yeah. Um, eight and a half. So slightly better. Slightly better, yeah. Yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's got this uh, warming, ambery, vanilla, spicy, as you said. Mm. It's, it's interesting. Really, really good winter scent. And yeah. that is one that's why it's one of my favourites. Mm -hmm. So that is an eight and a half out of ten. Right, we're smashing through these. <laughs> Right, I'm looking forward to what's next in your lunchbox. Next is Intense Black, which is 1260. Now, I'm not going to tell Becca what this is. I want to see if she recognises it at all. So, we're going to spray this blind. You won't know what the original or the inspired by is until okay. afterwards, okay? Mm -hmm. Right, so let's give this a quick spray. Can I, can I use my last thing? Your last, oh, I've got another prop. What is that? It's a, it's a rock. It's a stone. So you're going to make me spray a fragrance on a stone. Did you really do the research? I'm slightly bored two minutes in. Of, you know. So I skipped a bit. Right. Saw the leaves. Yeah. Didn't watch any more. Right. And I thought, well, I could branch out and get some right. different things. George, I apologise. If you get to see this, she get, doesn't watch fragrance videos at all. She'd be bored one minute into any fragrance video. Yeah. yeah, but I thought I'd just use it for some research, and he was just using leaves, and I thought, well, what else could you spray it on? <laughs> so I've got a so stone. So you want me to spray your stone? Yeah. Right, okay. Do gonna, I don't know if I can, I mean, <clears throat> it's quite a small stone. Well, I can bring a rock. <laughs> oh. Does that suit the stone? Would you have scented smelling stones in your house? The thing is, I don't think it's going to dry very well. <laughs> it won't sink in. No, I no. think it's just going to live on there now. Right, okay, forever. Forever. <laughs> maybe maybe I'll I just put up... i tell you what, i put my lunchbox on the floor now. Okay. I've not got any more. Good. Right. <laughs> so, <clears throat> intense black. Oh, God, you sprayed a lot there. That's, oh, it's got a bit soggy. Simmer on that. Do you recognise it? Tom Ford. Yes, very good. Noir intense. Extreme. Yes. Extreme. Yes. See? Do you like it? Very good, I'm impressed. Intense Black 1260 is their interpretation of Tom Ford's Noir Extreme. Now, I've mentioned this on the channel before, and again, I think this is so, so, so close to the original. Any more so's? One more so. Squeeze out so. 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 It's so <laughs> close to the original. And this lasts like an absolute beast. Love the colour of the juice there, looks a bit darker. I know you like it, but I don't know if mm -hmm. you know the notes in it. So it's got uh, some cardamom again, mm -hmm. some nutmeg. Yeah, it's very spicy. It's got some saffron. Saffron. It's got some mandarin orange. Mm -hmm. It's got some kulfi, which is an Indian dessert. Oh, Indian okay. sweet dessert. It's got some rose. Mm -hmm. It's got some vanilla, some sandalwood. Mm -hmm. 
some amber and woody notes. Now mm -hmm. I get a sort of sweet nuttiness from it is what I get. Mm -hmm. I think I've said that to you before. Like a sweet, it's hard to explain, but I get a sweet nuttiness with some vanilla. Uh, it almost goes in the sort of gourmand territory for me. Only because... Slightly right. edible. I'm going to rate this quite high because mm -hmm. I love the original. You know I do. Yeah. Because I've got a really amazing clone upstairs, which is literally identical. Mm -hmm. The downside I would say about this one, mm -hmm. don't get me wrong, it's lovely. It's really, really nice. But it's just not quite as creamy and smooth. As the other one, okay. All the notes are there, which makes it, you know, a lovely, lovely scent. Mm -hmm. But it's just not finished off with the same it's... amount of love as the one I've got upstairs. Okay, I get that. I get that. And so, I, I, I think I agree as well. If I give you a uh, warrior back, what would you say you prefer of those two? This one. Okay, so that's rated higher than 8.5 then. Yeah, it would be... A nine. A nine, very Ma good. 9.2. 9.2. 9.2, on hard. its way to a nine and a half, but not quite there. That is your top so far. We've got That's one more to go. Now, I didn't tell you, but this is also going to be a slight review from me on this one as well, because I've not featured this one on my channel. Oh, okay. Okay, it's, it's quite new from Perfume Parlour, and it is called Eminent Wood. And hmm. this is... <laughs> This is 0223, and this is their interpretation of Oud for Greatness. Oud for Greatness. I do like Oud for Greatness. That is being absolutely hyped in the community as well at the moment, isn't it? So it's, it's proper hyped. Quite time. relevant. Now, does this smell anything like it? We've got a decant of the original. And what I would say about Oud for Greatness, I love the fragrance. When you're in close, you get a slight more... On yourself, you get that slight oody, animalic touch to it, but the sillage it leaves is much sweeter, I would say, and it gives you that sort of Baccarat Rouge feel. Okay. Okay, so will we get the same from this? Don't know. Okay. Spray your wood. I'm gonna... Oh, three sprays. Three sprays. <clears throat> oh. Do you see what I mean when you're getting close? This smells a lot like it. What? This smells a lot like the original. Again, they've got the DNA right. Perfume parlour are so good at that. It, it's not as... I know I've not got it on skin. I've worn it on skin now. It's not as smooth as the original. Mm -hmm. um, it's not as uh, sort of thick and creamy. It's not got that same quality. However... They have now the DNA. There's not quite as much sweetness in this, I would say. No. Let me run through the notes with you. So it's got nutmeg, saffron, and lavender. Now, lavender. a lot of people say on Oud for Greatness, the original, John, scented snowdrops, he gets more lavender than he does Oud from the original. Hey. Which I personally don't. I do pick up a little hint of lavender, I think, but not as much as John does. There's not really much sweetness in the notes, but we think the original's got some ether malto in. It's got that mm. slight, slightly candy flossy sweetness that you find in Baccarat Rouge 540. This has got a bit of that, but it's not as sweet. But it's also not as challenging. It doesn't go either way, really. It sits in the middle for me. It's a bit of a strange one. I'm not sure whether I like it or whether I don't like it. Okay. It's quite bitter. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not a massive fan of oud. Any fragrance with oud in is, it's that usually, note I can pick out straight away. Yeah, it's usually a no immediately, isn't it? But <laughs> really strangely, the original version of this, Becca, when I walked into a room, you, it does really project and you really picked it up quite quickly. And it's like, oh, that's it's nice. It's, it's, it's a strange one because if you, it's not, I'm going to sound like If you wave bit. it around a little bit, you get, diff I think you get slightly sweeter. If you say, for example, right, this is how I'm going to base it. You notice here, mm -hmm. oud. Yeah. Notice here, 
it's like a sweet sort of waft. But yeah. if you smell it really close up, mm -hmm. it's that close up smell, which I'm a bit. Mm. Yeah, I get I get that a hundred percent from the original. I'm not sure whether I like I'm it. I'm with you, bang, you you got it spot on for me. Which is very strange because a fragrance is a fragrance. Yep. No, it but, isn't. When you spray something up close, you can get a slightly different feeling for it if you're just heat smelling it in the air. Someone walking past, quick waft. Oh, what do they smell like? Mm. Sitting in a room with somebody. Mm. Yeah. I think I'll start to question whether I like it or not. It's quite interesting, I think, and it's also quite um, unique. I don't think there's any other fragrances I've no. seen that are quite like that. But maybe like the Tom Ford, really. Tom Ford's very unique. You waffling, you not let me talk now. Sorry. I always waffle, you know that. Oh, about you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> maybe the original, slightly like you say, slightly creamier, slightly sweeter. Whereas I think it's just got too many harsh finishes to it. Yeah, a bit rough around the edges. Yeah, a bit of a rough diamond. But if you want to smell oud for greatness and you really can't justify spending that sort of money and you want an idea whether you'd like the DNA, pick this up because it is good value for money and it is a good way of introducing yourself to lots of different niche scents. Yeah. But this will give you an idea of what it smells like because it does smell a lot like the original. So again, well done to Perfume Parlor, I would say. Yeah. We're judging it basically on what they smell like, but in terms of what they are as a clone um, or an interpretation, this is quite close hmm. just a bit rough around the edges a rough diamond yeah so what would you give break that out of 10 uh, <clears throat> would you probably. rate it higher than tizzy rock higher than building yeah what did i rate that six, six out of ten probably seven and a half Seven and a half, okay, that's yeah. higher than I thought you'd rate it. Only because, like you said, the original I do actually like. Okay. So seven and a half, that's higher than I thought. I thought you were going to go seven. <laughs> so in fifth place, we have the Tiziana Terenzi, and that is a building. And that was rated six out of ten. So in fourth place, we have Eminent Wood. And that was a, <laughs> what did you rate that? Seven and a half. Okay. In third place, we had Strong Wither You. Mm -hmm. And that was rated, you rated that an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Second place was Warrior. Warrior. And that is their interpretation of Herod by Parfums de Mali. And in first place, we have intense black and that was rated a 9.2 9.2 so, cracking fragrance <laughs> so all five of those are good fragrances interesting fragrances all a bit different from each other all good quality all smell good um all brilliant and perfect for winter in my opinion mm -hmm. thank you for being on my video that's okay even though you're a bit of a twat no. She's a nightmare, isn't she? She's an absolute nightmare. But you were brilliant, thank you. Maybe if you want to see me more, comment below. Yeah, and, leave a comment. You know. Is is she maybe. more interested than just having me on? I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> you might be like, who is this? Yeah, probably. But comment below. You never know. I might actually come on again. Perfect. I thought you were gonna say come again. Dodgy. Yeah. Sorry. So like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to... No spring delay! <laughs> Keep smelling wonderful. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> See you later. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye-bye.